Perpetual Mommy here today to do a bag review for all of you. This is my beautiful new Jujubee Super B and the Tokidoki and Jujubee collaboration print, Toki Pop. So again, this is the new Toki Pops print put out by Jujubee, and this is the Super B. And I was realizing, you guys, that I have so many Super Bs. It's one of my favorite bag styles by Jujubee, but I have never, ever recorded a packing video on my channel for any of the Super Bs. So I thought, this is a perfect time. It's a new print, and we're going to be out all weekend this upcoming weekend. So I went ahead and I packed it up, and I'm just super excited to show you guys how I do have it packed up. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about the outside of the bag the way that I normally do for those of you who are new to Jujubee or new to the Super B, and then we'll talk about the inside of the bag and how I do have it packed up on the inside. So on the outside of the bag you do have two large open pockets. There's no closure, so there's no snap, there's no magnet, there's no zipper. They are open. Those are your bottle pockets. They do have the thin slate material which is Jujubee's insulation system, so it will help keep, if you put a cold drink in there, it will help keep it cold, and if you put something warm in there it helps keep it warm for longer than if you would just put it into a standard pocket that didn't have thin slate and then you have one little hidden pocket right here that does have a zipper closure you do have one main zipper compartment that is the main portion of the bag and then you do have the tote handles right here to carry the bag this bag does not come with a messenger strap you guys but it does come with these tote handles that have a pretty good drop length now I can't remember the drop length offhand if I can find it I will go ahead and insert it for you all so you know then the back side of the bag does have one snap pocket, and this bag does not come with a change pad, you guys. So if you do want a change pad, you'll have to buy one separately or add, you know, a different one. But again, it does have one snap pocket right here, and that is it for the back side of the bag. So in these thin slate pockets, again, you do have one here and one here. They go all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So I'll put my hand all the way in so you can see. So my hand's all the way at the bottom. So these are very nice, generous pockets. I can put swell bottles in here. I can put the Zoli bottles in here. I can put fun tainers in here. So pretty much it holds just about any of the major brand thermos, kid, adult, beverage containers that you can think of fit great in here. And then this one zippered pocket right here, I do keep right now. What I'm using is my wallet. So right now I'm using a small set piece by GGB in the blackout print as my wallet. And in here I just have an NCO coin purse for cash and coins. I do have two B charged in here. One B charged holds credit cards and my license. The other B charged holds our insurance information. And that's working out really good as my wallet. And again, I just keep it right here. And because this pocket is kind of hidden, I do feel like it's a good place to put my wallet. And I, I'll show you guys here, if you can see where my hand is. So it goes about three quarters of the way down the bag. The only other thing I have in here is my clip of bag hook. This bag hook does hold 45 pounds and helps me keep my beautiful bags off the ground. Moving on to the side of the bag, the bag does not come with a messenger strap, so it also doesn't come with O-rings. So what I have done, you guys, is I order these off of Etsy. There's a ton of shops on Etsy that sell them, but they're like carabiner O-rings, so they just slip on and off very, very easily. And then I have my Pink Lady Star, and I have a little strawberry milk. I'm not usually into keeping the little kind of soft fuzzies on the side of the bag, but my girls really like it. I thought it would be fun to hang there, and she just matches so perfectly with this print. Just kind of meant to be. Then the back side of the bag right here, you do have the one snap pocket. And this is the full length and depth of the bag. So it's a full width and depth of the bag. And back here I just have some quick, quick grab items. I do have a summer infant disposable toilet cover for public potties. And I have a wipe pouch case. This is one of the new wipe pouch 30s full of parasol wipes. And I have a nail oil. And I think I have two Baby Gannicks. Yep, two Baby Gannicks sanitizer wipes. Oh, and I have two lotions in here, two hand lotions and a pen. And that is it, but you guys, look how big this pocket is right here. It's very large. Now moving on to the other side of the bag. I have another of the O-ring carabiners that I have added, and I also have a charm right here. This one was made by Alex, who owns Toki Pokey, and this is a very large fob. And because she's so large, I've had a hard time figuring out where I was going to put her, what bags I was going to use her on, but she looks really good on this bag. Because this bag is so large, she just kind of fits pretty perfectly here. Now let's go ahead and talk about the strap that I have on here. This is a seatbelt strap, and I did buy it off of the Jujube Customs page. Now this one was made by Natalie Jensen, but there are a bunch of wonderful ladies on the Customs page who do do seatbelt straps, and this is one that I've had for a very long time. I use it with a lot of my other bags, but again, I just thought it matched really, really nice, and does allow me to carry this bag over my shoulder or crossbody. 
Now moving on to the main part of the bag. The bag does open with one zipper pull. And you guys, I didn't even talk about this change. So one of the new changes to this particular print, the Toki Pops, is the metal nameplate. These used to be fabric. So this is new for the Toki Doki line, this metal faceplate, which is a really nice change. The other thing that is super cute, you guys, as you guys can get a look at this, is the zipper pull. Look how cute the zipper pull is. It is so cute. Let me show you the other side. So just really impressed with the little details that you are, are new to this particular print. So we're gonna go ahead and open this bag. Again, one nice smooth zipper right across the top. I'm gonna go ahead and fold the sides down so you guys can get a nice view of what the inside of this bag looks like. So I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and see the inside of this bag, get a good shot right here. So what you will see is that I do have a Jujube fuel cell and then I used my Lily Jade insert. So the 1.0 version of the Lily Jade insert in here. And right on top, I'm just going to remove this so you can see what it looks like now. So what I just removed, this is my San Diego Hat Company hat. And I talked about this in my last video, you guys. And it's just, it's kind of silly, but it allows me to wear my hair in a bun or a ponytail and still have a wide brimmed hat. So you open it up and it Velcros to the size that you need it to be. And then you put it around like low on your forehead and then it's like a wide brimmed hat. And then you can have your hair out the top. So I get a lot of questions about this. So I just thought I would mention that. All right. Now I'll show you guys again what the inside of the bag looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and start here with the fuel cell. So I have the fuel cell standing right on the side. Now normally I carry my fuel cells separately. They don't go inside my bags, but because the Super B is so large, when I carry a Super B, I do go ahead and put the fuel cell inside a lot of times. And again, this fuel cell is really cute. It has two zipper poles. So you've got two of these really cute zipper poles. And again, that metal nameplate right there. Another feature for those of you who are new to the fuel cell is that you do have a strap on a clasp that allows you to hang it from a stroller or you know anything else you have a backpack anything you want to hang it from so go ahead and open this up and show you what i have in here so the very top section right here all i have is a couple shelt wipes so my girls are messy and sometimes it's not even them that's messy it's me because they touch me with gooey hands so i do have, again keep a couple of the shelt wipes and then i have our snack container here I have some yogurt melts some cheerios and rice puffs and some rice cake and then I have a couple of food pouches. These are our emergency food pouches. The girls love these. And then I do have a Muddy Buddy case, and this Muddy Buddy case has a Baby Mum Mum and some yogurt raisins in it. And then I have a toothbrush container full of straws. And then this is what I was talking about. So this is what the old face plate for the Toki Doki used to look like. And this is what the new plate looks like, just so you guys can see. So they went from having the fabric label to having the metal label, which is just a really nice upgrade. So what I have in here is kind of my restaurant kind of eating essentials. I have three of the Dapple pacifier wipes to clean off silverware. I have three Baby Yannix hand sanitizer wipes to clean off hands. In case we didn't get a chance to wash, wash hands, I do have some disposable bibs. I have a whole mess of the table topper mats, and I have a sugar burger case here that does have a replay spoon and fork for the Just Turn two year old, and a sugar burger metal set spoon and fork for the Just Turn three year old. And all of that fit very nicely inside that fuel cell with room to spare. So again, this is a Lily Jade 1.0 insert. And for those of you who are familiar with Lily Jade, you may wonder why there are no snaps. So the Lily Jade 1.0s used to have magnetic snaps that snapped into their bags. This was part of a sample cell bag that I got. So the sample cell bag did not have magnetic um, components on their inserts. So that's why this one looks like it. And I actually like that to put into my other bags. So right on here on the outside, you will see this UB case and I'm using this for my play pack stuff or my arts and crafts stuff for the girls so I do have some twistable pencils I do have a little coloring book I have a reusable sticker book right here I have a couple play pack cases I have some blank white paper I have some blank white blank white paper books and some of the mini play pack cases so a lot of goodies right there and on the back side right here I just have some extra stickers the girls that fits really nicely right there and then right here I do have a little pouch and it just has some mommy essentials and some mommy niceties to have so 
so I have some makeup stuff. So again, this is for us to be out on the weekends, and it's been so hot. We live in California, it's been so hot. So I do have some stuff to like refresh my face if I need to. So this is my Donatella Sweet Shop Coin Purse by Jujube. And in here I have my migraine medication. I have some dental floss. I have a spare set of contacts. I have a hair tie and I have some eye drops. It's kind of my medical stuff. And then I just have some makeup stuff. So I have some white or translucent powder. I do have a bare minerals, a little touch up, a little concealer, and some lip stuff stuff to again touch up my face so I've been known to wash my face with a baby wipe while we're out and then just kind of reapply really quick and then I have a custom mirror here this is made by Christy McCoy at Crafting After Dark this is the Kaiju City print and I really like this mirror and I just have some dental flossers for the babies if we needed to get into their teeth after they've eaten anything now on this side pocket right here I have a change of clothes for the three-year-old I do have a shirt a pair of pants and a pair of socks and it looks like I need to add a new pair of panties I thought I had a pair of panties in there so I need to add a pair of panties for her and then this pocket right here is kind of my little fun pocket for the girls so I have a set of Tegu blocks these are those magnetic blocks in the natural wood color and I will tell you guys I had to take the baby to the ER we were there about eight hours and this kept her happy for probably three of those eight hours so these were magical I only pull those out when I absolutely have to so they're always a fun thing and then this is my Donatella head my little she's actually a coin purse and in here I keep a poppable hairbrush I keep some tokidoki hair clips and hair ties and I just use that to touch up the girl's hair because both the two-year-old and the three-year-old have very long hair and then right here in this pocket, I do have a Jujube medium set piece in the Toki Pops print. And this is my fun little toy bag for the girls. So I just have a whole mess of toys. I have my Donatella teether necklace for the girls. I have another Chubby teether. I have some cars. This is a little Wonder Woman car, a Lightning Queen car. I have a Lammy. I have a Doc McStuffins in here. I have a Myrna Corno. So just some fun little things for the girls to play with. Again, I still have a lot more room in there. I could add more stuff if I needed to. And I try to switch out the toys every once in a while just to keep them happy. But they become kind of accustomed to what I have and then they go looking for them. And then I have another set of clothes right here. Again, uh, socks, panties, shirt, and pants. So I have a change of clothes for the two-year-old and a change of clothes for the three-year-old. Just rolled up really nice and tight. And that is it for the outside pockets of the insert. Now on the inside of the main part of the insert, all I have in here is the Toki Pops large set piece by Jujubee and this is my diapering essential so the three-year-old is completely potty trained and it has been completely potty trained for a very long time now the two-year-old is almost completely potty trained but she has not mastered poop in the potty so we still put her in pull-ups so I have two pull-ups I have a wipe out case with parasol wipes in the monochrome hearts print I do have more of those summer infant potty covers for the public toilets I have a extra large disposable change pad and a baggie for you know, any messes that we may need to put into a plastic baggie. Now right here in this pocket, let's go to the side pocket right here. I do have two sunscreens just slipped in there really nice and easy. So one is a Pacifica sunscreen and one is an Avino Baby sunscreen. They're just really easy to just kind of keep with us. Again, like I said, we live in California. It's always sunny, it's always hot, so we're always using sunscreen. And then right here I do have an Honest Company. So on the other pocket, you have another elasticized pocket. I do have an Honest Company hand sanitizer. Then right here in this slip pocket, I do have two unpaper towels by Marley's Monsters to clean up any messes, either, you know, gooey food messes or any kind of other messes we may have with the girls. And then the only other thing I have in the insert is this right here. This is my mini med kit. This is a Kipling Creativity pouch in this small size. And this is in the color Winter White. And then the front section right here, I have some nitrile gloves. I have some alcohol prep pads. I have some band-aids. I have some gauze pads. Then in this zippered section right here, I have uh, some nail files. I have a set of scissors. I have nail clippers. And then back here in this last section, I do have some emergency whistles, as well as a thermal blanket for shock. And that's it for the insert. But let me go ahead and show you this Super Bee now that it's empty. 
So this is what it looks like. I did not use any of the internal organization, but for those of you who are new to it, let me show you. You do have two very large mesh pockets. These are not elasticized, but they are mesh slip pockets, and they are very, very large. So hopefully you're getting a good shot of what that looks like in there. And then on the back of the bag right here, you do have one zipper pocket. I don't have anything in here, but again, it is a very nice, generous pocket. So that is it for my super view, guys. Hopefully you found this helpful. This print is super cute. If you were wanting a Toki Pops print bag of any kind, hopefully you scored one on release night. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.